how many states can be represented with a given number of bits? And the question sometimes at the very beginning is, what does state really mean? When computer scientists talk about states, it's basically a variable for anything else. It could be different numbers, it could be different characters, it could be um, different audio height, and so on and so on. So don't get confused by the term state. So how many states can we now um, represent with, for example, 10 bits? And here we have the formula states, the number of states, it's equal to 2 by the power of the number of bits. So in our case it's equal to 2 by the power of 10, which is equal to 1024. And we have 2 uh, by the power of 16. Then again you better have a calculator, yeah, set it back, and if I say, for example, 16, I have this 2 by the power of x button in here. And we can go to 65536. Yeah, so 56,536. Sometimes the question is just the other way around. So how many characters does an alphabet have and how many bits are required? And then we can start again. Okay, alphabet, the usual alphabet, yeah, starting with um, A, B, C, ending up with X, Y, that has 26 characters. So how can you now come to a result? Yeah, either you know, simply know some of the few pot um, potentials of two, so f you should maybe know two by the power by the power of four equals to sixteen, and two by the power of five equals to thirty-two, and as you can see, twenty-six is just in between. Four bits wouldn't be sufficient. Five bits are um, sufficient yeah and one less would not be okay so at least five bits are required yeah five oops five bits are required if you don't know these numbers two by the power of four two by the power of five of course you can use a table calculator again yeah so go back and for example, we can type in the 26 and we go to this important logarithm for the basis of 2. Yeah, so if I type it in, you see I get a value 4.7. But as I can't have, let's say, 0.7 bits, I can't just have 4 bits or 5 bits or 6 bits. It's always in a complete number, it's an integer. Then we have to go to the next higher integer which in this case is 5. And so we can handle all the other questions as well. So if you for example go for a big alphabet with uh, big characters, small capital characters, small characters, digits and uh, special signs then we have 95 um, different states we have to represent. Again we can look on this logarithm and you see 6.5 so for 95 states you will need um, 7 bits 7 bits are required and the other ones we can do in the same way so let's have a look on these have a look on the next one. Humans can listen to frequencies in the range of 16 Hz up to 90,000 Hz. If every frequency is associated as a known state, how many bits are required to represent each frequency? So you can go for 90,000 minus 16, 90,000 minus 16 equals to 18,984. Again, we take this logarithm and you see it's 14.2, so we need 15, uh, 15 bits. 
so again 19,000 Hertz uh, so 15 bits are required and one more if you have 2.4 millions of colors how many bits are required to represent them all so let's type in two five uh, one two three two point four million again I'll take this logarithm and you can see 21 isn't sufficient so I need 22 uh, so again 2.4 million colors uh, require 22 bits so uh, now you could argue I do not have a table calculator like this but you have if you have a Mac then simply open the calculator and maybe you have to go into the representation and swap to either research or programming uh, if you have the standard this is, too, this is too small not all options are given if you go for research then these options typically are, are available if you go to programmers then we'll have another way to see the uh, calculator we will talk about this in the next uh, exercise the same calculator or similar calculator is available on a Windows PC as well so have a look make yourself um, comfortable with these kind of things so that it, in the exam do not lose time to find all these kind of functions which are required.